there's your molecule, uh, the reaction with the balanced equation there. And Taniguchi, people are smarter than me on uh, atmospheric uh, chemistry. Uh, this is their, their conclusions for uh, what's, what's happening here. Uh, the photolysis of the ketone uh, in the air uh, results in a radical and, uh, and also carbonyl fluoride there. Uh, that radical there uh, will incorp be incorporated in the air cloud and seawater where it'll undergo hydrolysis to, to give the trifluoroacetic acid. Similarly, the carbonyl fluoride will go undergo hydrolysis to give CO2 and HF. And to answer the question about CO2, as well as any of these the other two uh, products that uh, result from uh, reacting with a uh, ketone at the concentrations expected in the environment. This is from Taniguchi. None of these degradation products is considered harmful. So in other words, the concentrations are expected from what's, uh, what's going to be uh, emitted into the atmosphere uh, combined with a short atmospheric lifetime, the global warming potential is uh, negligible. And if you had, uh, if we if we would spell PFAS back in 2002 or 2003 when this was written, they probably would have had a similar uh, similar uh, opinion about uh, about that as well. It'd be the the effect would be negligible.